This reminds me of Alaska. This is truly gorgeous. Pretty beautiful here. Really lovely. Thank you. How awesome is that? This is the view off of our balcony. It's just gorgeous. What's really nice is that they have a park ranger walking through the bridge camp so you can hear it on your balcony and keep the doors open. If you have the chance to come here, you really should. And seeing sceneries like this make me want to go on a Norway Fjord cruise even more. But the clouds hanging over the cliff tops, we can't see the cliff tops, but my, what a gorgeous view that is. Look how big that waterfall is. I've got it on two and a half magnification. That's at normal size. That's really impressive. We are just loving having an aft wraparound balcony. Highly recommend them to you if you can. But if not, get it inside because there's lots of places just come. Uh, this is very arty, thank you. So what are we drinking? <laughs> we are drinking Jans sparkling. We can't call it champagne because it's Australian. And it comes from all the way to Tasmania, which is, in fact, a state of, of Australia. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, so good. Make sure you count your blessings in life because you're given many. We have penguins in the water here somewhere. We saw them, but now they're gone. Look at all the difference of the colors. It's really dark until we cut through it. And then you get this magnificent okay. blue green. Just gorgeous. Look how magnificent this is. It's right outside of our cabin. How gorgeous. Again, I'm going to say this. The pictures, the videos, yes, they are absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and glorious and magnificent, but I promise you, they do absolutely nothing to catch the absolute magnificence of what we're looking at here. And again, just look at that water. That's the balcony down below ours. Go from that to that. 
There's just something mesmerizing about that site. There's just waterfalls around every bend, every corner. Just glorious. Look how gorgeous. So pretty. The waterfalls and the birds flying all around it. It's crazily beautiful. Look how high that is too. You can follow the waterfall all the way up if you want. That's just gorgeous. That's a neat little You got him? <laughs> she was asleep again. Uh, <laughs> asleep. Yeah. Look. Uh, you can fall asleep. We've just pulled out of the sound. You could just sleep through. That is just gorgeous. Milford Fjord, you've been at Milford Sound, you've been absolutely lovely. Thank you. I got the blueberry today. Michael got the blueberry and the cranberry. It's the cranberry muffin and the blueberry Danish. And look at our view today. Is this just not incredible? Look at that. Wow, just wow. And I know that you've seen the sweet breakfast menu before, but every now and then I like to just pop it on so that you can take another look at it. It is so nice being able to have sweet breakfast in Sabatini's because you have this amazing view. And something important to remember is that on sea days, breakfast is from 7.30 till 10.30. In port days, it's 7 a.m. until 10 a.m. Wow. So today, I ordered a bagel that has sesame and poppy seed on it. And then I also got cream cheese. I have strawberry jam and raspberry jam. And then I got two scrambled eggs, soft scrambled with cheese, cheddar cheese and chives. And then Michael got the eggs benedict that I had yesterday. I hope you enjoy it. And we also each got some ham. He says it's warm out here. Look at his feet. He's got tongs on. It's cold. <laughs> Are you loving this scenery? Oh, wow. They don't look very big from here. But... Sir, I know you can't see much here, but they're really big. That's gorgeous. Michael and I were blessed enough to be moved from the suite in the center of the ship to an aft ship suite. It's a corner suite with wraparound balcony. I will include the room tour now. I didn't want to say anything earlier because I wanted to make sure that everything happened. I, it's just a big concern. I have decided to skip a formal lunch and instead we decided to just get something from the International Cafe for lunch 
We have a ham and cheese sandwich and a chocolate cake that looks wonderful. I have hot chamomile tea and Michael has iced tea. And we're just going to enjoy the view outside of our balcony. And part of the reason we don't want to is we're actually, we invited some friends to come enjoy the rest of Fjordland Day with us. So they're coming in about a half hour or so. Because we're having a few friends over to enjoy traveling up the sound, Jerry, our suite attendant, who is absolutely incredible, brought us some glasses and a couple bottles of champagne. Very sweet, very sweet. Thank you. Vanessa was kind enough to arrange for us to have some cut veggies as well as a beautiful cheese platter to be delivered to our room for the fjord sail around today. That looks so nice. Look at that. That is just beautiful. <laughs> Lovely. Wow, this sound is even more stunning than the last. Look how gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. This makes me happy. Having people enjoy themselves, relax. It's just lovely. That almost looks like a caldera up there. Check that out. That's just beautiful. Don't do this to your balcony furniture. Or better yet, hopefully your balcony furniture won't do this to you. Look how magnificent this is. No idea what the rest of this cruise is going to bring. But just this view today is worth this trip. I can tell you that. Anything else to me? It's just a bonus. Ladies and gentlemen, what sound are we in? Uh, Break sound. Going, going into dust. Dust. Yeah. dusty sound. To Vanessa. Thank you to Vanessa. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Woo. It's a cloudy day. It's lovely. But do bring your bug spray if you come here.
This is the wine menu in the Crown Grill. Just pause the video. Tonight in the Crown Grill, this is the garlic rosemary bread. Honestly, it doesn't feel fresh. It's really hard, like really hard. And the cheese is ice cold. I'm not sure it's gonna be tasty at all. It's good flavor. Yeah, it's good flavor. Yeah. So, honestly, Usually, we always look forward to this bread. It's not very good tonight, which really surprises me. My espresso martini with a side of ice. I ordered the scallops appetizer. Michael ordered the prawn appetizer. Michael had asked if they had shrimp cocktail, and it's not on the menu. However, they went over and got some just for him. Honest review, the scallops are okay, but truthfully, they're cold, which is really odd, but that's okay. But Michael's shrimp cocktail is really, really tasty. All right, so this is the first time for us. So with Michael's shrimp cocktail, which we ate the shrimp, but instead of cocktail sauce, they served it with French dressing. Very different. It tastes good. I mean, it's a unique combination. <laughs> but it's definitely not cocktail sauce. Very good, very good. <laughs> I don't know if my taste buds are changing. But nothing really tastes the way I remember it. I mean, although this dish wasn't bad, the prawn appetizer, it was pretty decent. Oh, and once again, the espresso martini is far too strong. I don't know what's going on on this ship, but they do not taste like they did the last time we were here. I know it sounds like all I'm doing is complaining this meal, and that's not my intention but the Crown Grill was a highlight for us last trip. This time so far, it's been the worst meal we've had so far. Michael ordered the ribeye, medium rare. I ordered the filet mignon, medium. So they're trying to tell us that the shallot and bone marrow potatoes have always come like this, but I never ever remember getting served burnt potatoes before here. Never. So Michael's dish is supposed to be medium rare. At best, that's a medium. Alright, see to me, this is more medium well than a medium. Okay, so the thing that's really irritating me is the restaurant manager insisted that that's not burnt. 
and he insisted that that is the way it's always been served. It is not. But then he admitted that he's only been here for two months and that's the way it's been the past two months that he really didn't know. Alright, I'll be honest with you. I have... I am just completely disappointed in this meal tonight. This is so bad that we will not come back here. My steak is so dry. It's not tender. It's not tough. But it's definitely not tender like a filet should be. They remade Michael's steak for him. And honestly, it, the preparation is fine. It's medium rare. The issue is this meat, the ribeye, does not taste good. It has a very gamey flavor. It's so unusual. So unusual. Hi everyone. It's Trish from the future. And I felt it important to make this video because I wanted to follow up with our Crown Grill experience. And you'll see it again discussed in a later vlog. But as I am putting this together, it was so important to me to tell you exactly what happened so that you understand the situation. After the meal, Marco, the manager, stopped me and stopped Michael and I really and was talking to us. He felt so bad about our experience that he not only apologized, he offered to rectify that by inviting us back to the Grand Crown Grill for another meal. What we are going to do is we're actually going to do the Crab Shack, which will be, as, t as of this filming, tomorrow night. So you'll see that in a later vlog. The things that we discussed, uh, the difference in the quality of beef between Australia and New Zealand, excuse me, between Australia and the United States. And I apologize, we're actually in Taronga, New Zealand right now, so I have New Zealand on the brain. Then the next morning at breakfast, Michael, the food and restaurant manager, came and found us and apologized again. He felt so bad, he actually in, at, invited us to have a, another couple join us for dinner for, for that Crab Shack event. So we're really looking forward to that. And I just, I cannot stress enough how much we appreciate everything that's been done for us. They went above and beyond. But please note that when you come here, there will be a huge difference between the beef that you eat in the United States and the beef that you eat from Australia. Australian beef is purely grass fed, mainly grass fed, but it's not tender. It's a little gamier. It doesn't have, the connective tissue is tougher for some reason. And it just doesn't have that same wonderful mouthfeel that we get from our US, USA either choice or prime beef. When I take a bite of filet back home, it melts in my mouth. And the beef on ship just doesn't do that. But I'm telling you all of this because I want you to know that as much as I, you heard everything about that meal and I'm not taking that out because it's actually what happened. You need to know that. You need to know that Marco, Michael, and the Royal Princess have rectified that situation. So the thing that I love is that even when something goes wrong, they make it right. And not every company does that. And that's another reason why Princess is our cruise line of choice. Today is Australia Day. So look at this lovely cake they have. Well, we both decided to have some gelato tonight. So I have the pistachio and Michael has the chocolate. It's a nice way to end the evening. And honestly, wanted to let you know that Marco, the restaurant manager at the Crown Grill, he, he just, he was beside himself about the experience we had tonight. So he has invited us back to try it again. So we will do that at another day, and he promised a better experience for us the next time. That makes me feel better. That's the customer service that we know and love with Princess. One scoop. Oh yeah, check this out. One scoop. Two scoops. This is precious. This is mine. Next time to the gelato, I'm wearing a dress. Next time, what's that? I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> Because he's saying they, they made my one scoop bigger because I'm a female. <laughs> Only because we have to tease you just a little bit. 
Michael's going to take a bite. And you wish it was you eating it. Because it's so good. It's rich in chocolate. He actually let me try it. <laughs> Anyhow, hey, we appreciate you guys being such good sports. Thanks for coming along for our journey. We have a blast having you with us. The premium desserts for Princess. They look pretty interesting, don't they? Let me show you. Are those just not absolutely decadent looking? Wow, just wow. Look how big those cakes are. The casino is closed today because we're in Fjordland. So this is the schedule of events. Thanks for joining us on this journey. We absolutely loved Fjordlands National Park. It was spectacular. We also loved being able to share our rack, wraparound balcony with friends from our Facebook group. And again, I'm going to stress this to you. Join your Facebook group. Get to know your people. If there isn't a Facebook group for your cruise, create one. And keep it positive. Don't let those naysayers, those nasty people, those rude people in your group ban them. We have such an incredible group. And that's because we made a point to only have positive people in that group. All right. Enjoy the rest of the pictures and we shall see you on the next one.